Welcome to another video of Code with Vinay and in this video I'll be telling you how to write an algorithm for the ISC Computer Science Practical Examination. I'll be telling you what to write, how to write, things to keep in mind, things to do and things to avoid. Informally, an algorithm is any well-defined computational procedure that takes some values or a set of values as input and produces some value or set of values as output. In other words, an algorithm is a finite set of rules specifying a sequence of operation to solve a particular problem. We can view an algorithm as a tool for solving a well-specified computational problem. The statement of the problem specifies in general terms the desired input-output relationship. The algorithm describes a specific computational procedure for achieving that input-output relationship. From the ISC Computer Science practical perspective, the total marks allotted for the algorithm is 3, out of which 1.5 marks are for the choice of algorithm and implementation strategy, and half marks for complete and clearly expressed algorithm. So let us first discuss choice of algorithm and implementation strategy. Choice of algorithm, as the name suggests, refers to the approach or logic that you are using among many choices which might be available to you. For example, if the problem is on Capricorn number, where you are required to split an integer into two parts, you may either use string logic for splitting the number or you may use division by a suitable divisor. Since using string is generally more computationally expensive and is both slow and time consuming, the division method is more suitable in this case. So we see that it is not just about the correct answer, but also about efficiency and optimization. The second thing is complete and clearly expressed algorithm. The complete part is rather self-explanatory, but clearly expressed algorithm needs a bit of explanation. Now, the algorithm can be expressed in two forms, and the two forms are stepwise form or pseudocode form. Stepwise notation refers to expressing the algorithm in plain simple English in stepwise form like step 1 do this, step 2 do this, step 3 do this and so on. In both the cases, the algorithm must be language agnostic, meaning that it must not be in any particular programming language. In our case, it must not be in Java. Traditionally, an algorithm is written before a programming language and is not in any particular language. The idea is that any programmer must be able to read your algorithm and write the program in his or her preferred programming language. In our case, the examiner must be able to read your program and ascertain the logic used. Now, some people advise that one should leave some space for the algorithm, write the program and then come back to complete the algorithm after writing the program. Ideally, algorithm is written before the program and considering that you all are used to writing essays in two languages in other language subjects, you are definitely equipped to write an algorithm before the program, but this is just a mental block which can be removed with a little bit of effort and time. Anyway, in case you are not comfortable in writing the algorithm before the program, my advice is slightly different. I suggest that you write a very rough draft of your program at the back, clearly marked as rough. I'm saying this because as per the rules, you are only allowed to write in the planning session and not during the examination session. This approach will allow you to think more and in the process, the probability of making mistakes will go down drastically. Now let us see how we can put all this into practice with the help of an example. We'll write an algorithm to check whether or not a number is a prime number. First, we'll have a look at the pseudocode version of the algorithm and then we'll have a look at the stepwise notation of the same algorithm. Now, have a look at the algorithm which is visible on your screen first. Take some time to read the algorithm completely. I suggest that you pause the video, read the whole thing slowly and then resume. Notice that the algorithm is language agnostic, that is, it is not in terms of any particular programming language. There are no classes, import statements, data types. Everything is in terms of plain, simple English language. We are using hash to begin a comment. We are using generic keywords in our very own pseudo language and keywords are in block capitals. 
we are marking the beginning of a function with the keyword function and the end of the function is being marked by end function in the same fashion if is starting with an if and ending with an end if the for loop is also having a very simple syntax specifying the initial and final values along with the step also note that we are writing down the algorithm for individual methods one should always break down the logic into methods in a program please be aware that this is not a real programming language and there is nothing right and wrong about it just focus on being consistent for example do not use the keyword function for one method and action for another now let us have a look at the stepwise form of the same algorithm for checking a number for prime have a look at the algorithm which is visible on your screen again take some time to read the algorithm i suggest that you pause the video read the whole thing slowly and then resume the first thing you'll notice is that it appears slightly shorter and that is primarily due to the way it is written specifically due to the missing indentation and the use of comma in stepwise form the first step must be start and the last step is stop also take care to mention the variable names at all places remember the programmer or in our case the examiner must be able to comprehend the logic used in your program by looking at your algorithm whether you use stepwise form or pseudo code form should be decided on the basis of what comes more naturally to you counsel allows for both the methods and there is no preference for one form or the other now let us summarize the do's think about efficiency before you begin do not just code the first solution which comes to your mind use indentation for clarity be specific where possible for example say set counter to 0 instead of initialize the counter without mentioning any value practice and prepare common algorithms like traversal linear and binary search sorting methods etc for example prime number problems like twin prime prime adam numbers prime factorization are all dependent on primality tests and the algorithm will become handy at the time of practical resulting in some precious time saving now let us see the don't the don'ts are mostly common sense but then common sense is a misnomer now point number 1 do not mix pseudo code and stepwise style do not use java statements in an algorithm that is avoid imports classes system dot out system dot in and scanner etc and last but not the least do not be vague with logic be specific wherever possible this brings us to the end of this video feel free to use the comment section below if you have any doubt your feedback is valuable to me i want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful if you have any questions or suggestions for improvement please don't hesitate to leave a comment or send me a message